Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we shall discuss the air handling unit and its working. Air handling in pharmaceutical manufacturing is important to maintain the safety and quality of the products. In this video, we shall understand the working of air handling units in pharmaceuticals to produce safe and effective products. Air handling unit plays an important role in maintaining the atmosphere of the manufacturing area in pharmaceuticals. Temperature and humidity are maintained in a clean room by air handling units. Pressure in the clean room area is also adjusted by the AHU. It helps to remove contamination by filtering the air in clean rooms. The principle of AHU is based on thermodynamics and fluid dynamics. A blower is used to supply the air from outside and filtered through the filters to remove the contamination. Then the air is cooled or heated as per the required temperature to flow to the clean room area. This is done by the hot and chilled water coils present inside the air handling unit. Temperature, humidity, and pressure are adjusted in the classified areas by the air handling units. Air contamination is also removed by filtration which helps the maintenance of the clean area classes. Air handling units are a basic requirement and a very important part of the pharmaceutical industry. It is impossible the manufacturing drug products without air handling units. The working of the air handling unit can be divided into three phases. These are startup, operation, and shutdown. The startup phase of an AHU involves the running of the fans to start the airflow to get the required temperature and pressure in the area. The startup phase takes about 15 minutes. At this time, air circulates in the area to achieve the required temperature. After startup air handling unit, it runs continuously until it is required to shut down. In the operation phase, the fan and filters run at a specified speed to maintain the temperature and humidity in the area. The aim of this phase is to maintain the temperature and humidity in the manufacturing area as required. Return rises in the area play an important role to maintain the pressure that is required to prevent contamination from outside. The shutdown phase is the deactivation of fans and filters to turn off the AHU system. The process of shutting down takes 5 minutes. Once the AHU system is shut down, it will is required to adjust the plant ventilation system to start the AHU again. The importance of AHU systems could be understood by their work in pharmaceutical plants because AHU systems are responsible for the air supply in the whole plant. They provide a constant stream of air to the manufacturing area due to which the humidity, temperature and air pressure are maintained without any fluctuation. The steps of working in an air handling unit the unit is started by a control unit that monitors the needs of the specific requirements of the area. The blower in the unit is started at high speed to start circulating the air. The thermostat is the unit that starts to regulate the temperature required in the area. Filters in the unit start capturing the dust particles and bacteria present in the air that may cause contamination in products manufactured in the area. The exhaust system in the unit removes the exhaust air from the filter and releases it outside the area. The control unit of the AHU system monitors the quality of the air in the plant and adjusts the fan speed and thermostat settings according to the requirements. Now, let us look at the main components of an air handling unit. Housing. Housing is the insulated cover of the air handling unit. AHU components like air filters, cooling and heating coils, and blowers are placed in housing. It prevents the effect of the outside environment on the cooling and heating coils and saves energy. Blower. A blower is a type of fan to force the air to move in ducts toward the rooms of the manufacturing area. Generally, centrifugal blowers are used in air handling units. Cooling coil. Cooling coils present in the AHU cool and dehumidify the air. Chillers generate cold water and this cold water is circulated by the pumps through these coils. Heating coil. Like cooling coils, hot water circulates in heating coils. Hot water is generated by steam or by electric heaters. Air filters. To clean the air AHU has filters. These filters trap all dust particles. HEPA filters have a particle size less than 0.3 microns and remove all bacteria and fungus particles that contaminate the area and products. Dumpers. Dumpers are the barriers between the air supply. These are used to control the airflow in the air handling unit. Dumper 8 used to regulate the supply air and return ducts in air handling units. Ducts. Ducts are the insulated metal piping from AHU to the manufacturing area. Two different ducts are used for air supply and return. 
Insulation minimizes the effect of the environment on the supply and return of air. It helps to minimize energy loss. Condensate drain. The water drops drip off from the coils and is collected in the drain pan. The drain line carries the water from the drain pan to outside the housing. Now, let us know the types of air handling units. Different types of air handling units are there in the market these days. Each type of air handling unit has its own qualities and features. The common types of air handling units are discussed here. Blow through AHU. In blow through AHU, a blower is installed before the heating and cooling coils. The blower pushes the air towards the coils. And then air flows to the room through the ducts. Draw through AHU. In draw through AHU, blower is installed after the heating and cooling coils. Where the blower pulls air from the coils by which air temperature increases or decreases as per the set temperature. Now, let us check the advantages and disadvantages of air handling units. Quality of the air is the most important aspect of the pharmaceutical company. It maintains the environmental conditions and prevents the area from contaminants. There are many other benefits of AHU in pharmaceuticals, those are listed here. AHU helps to circulate the air by which the air becomes cleaned again and again. And contaminants remove very efficiently. It helps to manufacture safe and high quality pharmaceutical products. Another benefit is the regulation of temperature, as the AHU unit regulates the temperature automatically. Therefore, the drug products are manufactured and stored at the correct temperature. As we know high temperature affects product quality and reduces efficiency. AHUS are placed outside the manufacturing areas and help to reduce the noise level. Employees do not distract by the noise and they can work with concentration, which improves the efficiency of the employees. You cannot maintain the area without AHU systems. But there are some disadvantages to using air handling units in the pharmaceutical manufacturing area. One and most important is the cleaning and maintenance of the air handling units. If the units are not cleaned timely, they can become a good area for the growth of bacteria and fungus. These bacteria and fungus will become the source of contamination in products. AHUS are very costly. And their operation and maintenance are also very expensive. Sometimes these can be quite loud which can disturb the employees working in the area. Here are some tips for maintenance of air handling units. To run the air handling units for a long time, timely maintenance is essential. A maintenance schedule must be followed strictly to run the unit smoothly for a long time. Regularly check any signs of problems and replace the part immediately if required. Keep the filters, coils, and other parts of the unit clean. Cleaning the unit regularly will help to run the unit efficiently. Check the air ducts regularly and those must be free from pests and debris. Make sure that the humidity level is maintained all the time. Too low or too high humidity levels can damage the air handling unit. These tips will help to run the air handling unit in good conditions and effectively for a long time. Air handling units are the backbone of the pharmaceutical manufacturing area. And without AHU, the required environment for pharmaceutical production cannot be maintained efficiently. AHU ensures the production of safe and effective pharmaceutical products. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.